guys welcome back to my channel the first thing i'm going to be doing is co-washing my hair and i'm using the aussie miracle curls co-wash and this co-wash is supposed to cleanse moisturize and help restore dry damaged curls to help restore softness and shine now you guys know if you've been watching me for a while that i rarely co-wash my hair unless i need to restyle my hair midweek and in this case I did. So I'm co-washing with this co-wash and I liked it a lot. It was very moisturizing, but it also did feel like it cleaned my scalp. I used Eco Styler around my edges and this was able to remove most of that Eco Styler, which most of the time when I co-wash, I still have like caked up Eco Styler around my edges, but this was able to remove that while also leaving my hair feeling soft. So I did really like this co-wash. And as you can see, I'm using a generous amount of that and scrubbing my roots and then dragging the co-wash down the length of my hair. And I do this process twice before I rinse it out and proceed to styling my hair. and here is what my hair is looking like after i am done co-washing it as you guys can see it is shiny um i don't have any residue around my edges like i said from the eco styler gel and my hair felt super soft i don't know if you guys can tell from this but it also left my curls very defined so what i'm doing here is separating my hair and you guys know i like to work in four quadrants but for whatever reason i couldn't find one of my clips <laughs> So yeah, I'm just having to make do with three clips, <laughs> but I'm going to start with the first section and split it in half as usual. And then I'm going to go in with the Aussie Miracle Curls Leave-In Detangling Milk. And this is supposed to provide nourishing moisture, detangling smoothness, and frizz control for up to 24 hours. It also claims to provide miraculous slip and soft curls. Now, when I first applied this, as you can see, um, I feel like it gave my hair a lot of shine and actually helped to provide some curl definition, but I do feel like this cream could have been a bit more moisturizing. And the bottle is 6.7 fluid ounces, and I ended up using over half of this <laughs> for this wash and go. So if I were to use this again, I feel like it would only last me through one more wash and go. But yeah, it did have pretty decent slip. I did not detangle my hair previously, so the only detangling that um, was done to my hair was finger detangling and this did provide a pretty decent amount of slip with water to accompany it the water definitely helped to provide this with um, more slip but like I said I do feel like this could be more moisturizing I feel like I needed a cream to go in between this and the pudding or to just use a more moisturizing leave-in underneath the pudding but I did not hate this product it was just okay so the next product I'm using is the Aussie Miracle Curls Cream Pudding. And this is supposed to leave hair feeling soft and smooth, taming frizz and quenching curls. As you can see, I'm just making sure that my hair is saturated before applying the pudding because it's going to act as my styler. And the consistency of this kind of reminded me of a custard. It had like a custard-like consistency, but it was also thick. It was kind of weird. It kind of put me in the mind of maybe a custard mixed with a cream. So I guess that's why it's called a cream pudding. But I applied this to my hair and it immediately clumped my curls together. Um, it did have great frizz control. And I felt like this product is what gave me most of my hold. And I was heavy handed with both of the products. I 
was more heavy handed with the leave-in conditioner because I couldn't, it didn't feel like it was moisturizing my hair as much as I would normally like. On top of the fact that I'm normally really heavy handed with my leave-ins anyway. I was pretty heavy handed with the pudding as well, but not as heavy handed as I was with the leave-in. If you've been watching my wash and goes, you know I'm pretty heavy handed with products anyway because I need for my wash and goes to last me a full week because I do not like restyling mid-week. But I did really like this product. Like I said, I feel like it really tamed my frizz. Also, these products have a nice fruity scent. I really like the smell a lot. The smell does linger in the hair, so if you're sensitive to scents, then I would just keep that in mind. And these products do also contain silicones, so if you are opposed to using silicones, then I don't recommend using these products because they all contain silicone. Um, what I'm doing here is I'm just sealing in the moisture with an oil. You can use any oil of your choice, but this product really felt like a gel in my hair. Like it literally clumped my curls together and left them super defined. Okay guys, here are my wet results. As you can see, my hair is pretty defined and it is shiny. There is almost no frizz. I was pretty happy with my wet results and by looking at my wet results, I was expecting pretty good first day results. And here are my day one results, guys. My hair did dry super crunchy. I'm um, pretty sure that was because of the pudding, but I was able to scrunch out the crunch and fluff my hair a bit like I did in my video showing you guys how I do that. I will have that linked up in the cards. But I would say that this was a popping wash and go, except for the fact that I did have a few flakes. Now that may have been my own fault for being super heavy handed when I was using the products, but there was quite a bit of flakes. There were more flakes later on in the week than there was in the beginning. So on my first day hair, there were flakes, but it wasn't like bad. But as the days went on and my curls separated a bit more, I started to notice more and more flakes. So if you guys are to use these products, I would recommend being light handed and not being super heavy handed with the products. But besides the flakes, I was pretty satisfied with my results. My hair turned out fluffy yet defined on day one. And it just got bigger and better as the days went on. Here is my day five hair. As you can see, my hair is a bit more fluffy, but I did still have some definition. By this time, I was loving this wash and go, but like I said, the flakes did become a bit more prominent as the days went on, and I will show you guys a close-up soon. So like I said, just be light-handed when you use these products, if you choose to use these products. Now, of all three of the products, my favorites were the co-wash, I really like the co-wash, and the pudding. I could honestly do without the leave-in detangling milk. It was just okay in my opinion. But if I were to revisit the pudding, I think I would probably use a different leave-in conditioner or cream or combination of the two underneath it to see what type of results I would get. But for $4.99 each, I believe these products are worth trying if you are interested in trying them. Just keep in mind <laughs> that you want to be light-handed with the products. But yeah guys, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this video was helpful to you guys. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.